week, no matter what the weather, no matter what the time, to let you people know that the, who you ignorantly call Jesus Christ is about to make his return. That's right. Now, when he makes his return, it's not going to be to love everybody. Yes, this is so-called Valentine's Day 2016. And everybody's in a, in a love everybody spirit, love their woman, follow after their woman's spirit. But that's not the spirit of the Most High. That's not the spirit for, uh, for men, especially for you, you so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American men. Stop following your woman. You are the leader of the house. That's right. Not them. I don't care what grandmama taught you. I don't care if your dad wasn't in the house. You're supposed to make sure that you are running that house because you have the, the, the connection to the Most High God and His Son. And we're going to start out by giving all praise to the, the, the Heavenly Father and His Son, which His names are Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. That's right. Double honors and, play, and praises. Kahala, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And greetings and salutations to the hopeful elect. Shalom. Shalom. Right, we, we are here in Vegas, and there's a lot of people that visit Vegas to cherish their woman. And that's not the right spirit that a man is supposed to have. If you really love your wife, you're going to be hard on, you're going to be balanced with her. You're going to be hard on her, and you're going to be loving with her as she earns it. Not necessarily just because somebody told you that February the 14th was the day to, to cherish your woman. If you really loved her, you would cherish her every day according to her works. Somebody else grab uh, 1 Corinthians uh, 7. I think 7 is Matter of fact, somebody get the order in 1 Corinthians yeah, yeah, 11. Corinthians 11, 11 <laughs> go to 7. That's, that's exactly right. Go, go to that. 1 Corinthians 11 and 11 what? starting at the top. Got you. The top, start at the top. 1 Corinthians so 11 and 3. Uh, Let me say something. Because a lot of, in America, you know, this is a, 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 a pussy worship society. All right, men here, they worship women. This, yep. That's what Mother's Day is all about. That's what Valentine's Day is all about. Yep. Giving heed and putting your, your head up this woman's ass. Right. But huh. you don't realize that the Lord created an order on the planet Earth. All right? And what did he do? He created men to be lords over the Earth. That's right. All right? And you women, you fall under the men, not vice versa. That's right. And here in America, they will have you to believe that. That that's the order of things, that the woman is over the men. Wrong. Right? And because we point that out, you want to call us uh, misogy uh, misogynistic? Yeah. All right? You want to call us extremists? So on and so forth. You want to demonize us because we're giving you the natural order that the Lord set up. Right. All right? The, 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 the woman is under the man. That's right. All right? And if you got a problem with that, take it up with the Heavenly Father himself. Huh. All right? Our Lord, your creator. All right? The, Lord, the brother gonna bring out the order, man. All right? We gonna get the natural order that the Lord set up on the earth. Okay? Let me read this one first. Okay. This is Genesis chapter 3, verse 16. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy con conception. Yeah, this is going back to the, um, the time of uh, Adam and Eve. All right? After Eve transgressed in a, a garden, and she caused who? She caused Adam to transgress. That's right. Because she got deceived by the serpent, and she in turn took that deceitfulness to her husband. And guess what? Sin lied within Adam because of Eve. That's right. So now because of that, the whole entire planet Earth, all mankind on the Earth have to die. Right. All right? Now we got to live out wickedness as contrary to righteousness. That's, that's being played out as we speak. All right? The knowledge of, of, of evil, good and evil. Right. And right now, we're seeing a bunch of evil on the earth. Right. One evil is placing these women above the men. That's right. Okay? That's contrary against the natural order of the Most High. All right? But we're going we gonna to proclaim it, man. Right. We're going to push it. That's the vibration real men are supposed to be pushing. We're going to say what all real men are thinking or should be thinking yep. according to the heavenly father not that other way uh, it's okay 50 50 men and women are yeah, equal, we're equal. That's, ain't no that's such bullshit, thing man. ain't There's no, no ain't no equality that. man all right because then you're gonna fight over who has uh, more power exactly and when she hold out that pussy from you yeah i said it when she hold out that pussy from you then you're gonna feel weaker than her 
yep. not knowing that you can take it if you wanted to. Now, we're not saying to go and, and rape your wife or whoever, but it is condoned in the Bible that she don't have control of her whole, her own body, but, but the man has it, and vice versa. But that means somebody has to be <clears> using <throat> a sound mind to, to make the decision on when. Come, come. It says, uh, in sorrow, thou shalt bring forth children. Talking about birth pain. Yep. Every woman got to go through that now because of what Eve did. All right, go ahead. It says, and thy desire. I'll leave it back. I'm going to get it back. No, no problem, no problem. So, and thy desire shall be to thy husband. And your desire, the woman's desire, is supposed to be to her husband. All right, that's what a woman's desire is to be. All right, she's supposed to be underneath her husband. All right, her lord, her king. Right. Not the, uh, not the other way around, man. You women do not have dominion over men. All right? If you do that, guess what? This whole entire planet will be in shambles, man. It's in shambles now because of that, that order. Yep. That, that, vibration, that, that vibration, vibration, man. Now, all the men are not men anymore. Sisters. They they're, they're, they're raised by women. Exactly. And so they take on women like spirits. And the women know what it's like, bro. Yeah. The women know what they're missing from men, and they pick up those traits. That's right. And now the world is upside down, yeah. and the women are now ruling over the men. But they still don't have the way. Talking about women, don't have the right uh, capacity Mental to rule capacity. a family. Yep. Yeah. That's right. It says, uh, "And thy desire shall be to thy husband, and he shall rule over thee." So, how many women out here are willing to allow their husband to rule over them? Which which one of you women out here is willing for your, your husband to rule over you? Well, are you willing to be submissive to your husband? No. Uh, but I guarantee you, you want your husband to roll the carpet out for you every time you walk through, right? You want your man to, to open up every door that you walk through, right? Like, like coming to America, drop rolls coming yeah, beneath man. your feet. That's how, you, that's how you women would rather have it. Well, you're supposed to have them barking on one leg. You know? <laughs> yeah, man. That's why the Lord's gonna judge this place, man. And you women gonna be, you gonna get a, 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 a rude awakening. Because the Lord's gonna actually show you in the last days that he's actually dealing with men. That's right. All right? There ain't gonna be no uplifting of these damn sluts, man. Right. You use twats. <laughs> All right? That's gonna be done away with, man. It's gonna go back to the natural state when men were rough, huh. and you women, you you, you pretty much docile. have to be in docile. Yeah. But you, but well, shit, men are docile now. But right. your natural state is to be rough. Now you women, you were supposed to be soft. But guess what? But the days that we coming into, you women gonna learn to, to fall back into your place. That's right. Okay. <clears throat> you gonna you gonna know what it's like to be a woman again. All right. You're gonna be humble. But right now, these men are pussies. So they give you the upper hand right now. All right? And, and, it, and it's like, I just want to make a quick point. The Esau, the so-called white man, the devil in the Bible, the serpent, Satan, the adversary, and that's what he does. He gave you the liberty to be in, in position to call shouts in your household. Yep. He, even though he don't do that yep. in his own household. He allows our people to do it, the so-called Negro, Latinos, the Native Americans, the Seminole Indians. He allows you to, uh, to be ruled over by your women. Because he knows if the woman is ruling the household, then, uh, then, then there won't be no Most High God or Lord yep. in their household and in their actions. Yep. That shows that you women aren't fit to lead. We men aren't fit to lead except the fact that we have connection to the Heavenly Father, which gives us the wisdom to lead. That's right. <clears throat> get that order. First Corinthians 11 and 2. Now I praise you, brethren, that ye remember me in all things. Uh -huh. And keep the ordinances as I delivered them to you. And keep the orders that I delivered to you. Because Paul, Apostle Paul, when he wrote, he wrote in the in the spirit, man. Alright? Everything that he wrote was inspiration of the most high. From the most high. Yahweh. That's right. All right, this whole word is inspired by the Most High, man. All right, go ahead. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Jehovah's Yeah, our head is who the world inly called Jesus Christ. 
which his name is Yahweh Shah. Yes. All right, he's the Messiah, he's our head, okay? In order for us to get to the Father, we gotta go through him first. Right. He's our head. He's the mediator. He's our mediator, exactly, to the Most High. He's our connection, all right? Go ahead. And the head of the woman is the man. Read that again. And the head of the woman is the man. Read that again. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. All right? The husband, he runs the show in the house. Hey, hey okay. quick, quick thing. And it don't matter who's the breadwinner. Yeah, the man should be the breadwinner, but we know the society doesn't allow real men to be in position to be the breadwinner and the providers in the home. Yep. So that, mainly that don't towards Jake, yeah. mainly towards our people, man. Exactly. A lot of Israelite, a lot of men, a lot of them, they, they, a lot of them have to rely on the government or whoever because right now, man, they, they, they got it bad, man. Right. You know, a lot of Jakes, they, if they, uh, um, they got uh, records, if they, uh, they got felonies yep. and stuff like that, it's hard for them to work. So they really can't provide, man. And the last thing's lucky. The last thing Esau would want is for a so-called Negro, Latino, and Native to, to be in position of a man and feel like a man. Exactly. Because if he begins to feel like a man, he's going to get connected back to the, uh, his head, which is the, which is the Lord, who we, who we regularly call Jesus, known as Yahweh Shai in the Hebrew. Read that part again. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man, all right? So really, if, if you if, if y'all out here because of some this so-called Valentine's Day and it's all about love, right? Your woman should be showing you love, man. That's right. She shouldn't be leading you. All right. This shouldn't have been her idea. Exactly. To come to Vegas or to go out to dinner or whatever else. Yeah, man. And if you're the only one spending and she just kicking back, <laughs> she got you. Yep. That's right. Your woman got you. <clears throat> if your woman walks ahead of you, she's got you. You're the leader. Man up. You show her where to walk and where not to walk, not to lead you into danger, and so you can watch ahead and see what's going on. Yep. Go ahead. And the head of Yahweh Shai is Yahweh. Yep, and the, and the head of our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai is the Most High, which his name is Yahweh. Right. Okay, that's the order, man. It goes the Most High, His Son, the men, the Israelite men, and the women. Okay, that's the order. But everything is upside down. All right, now it's the devil, then it's the black woman and the white woman, and then it's you, you weak ass men. All right, that's not the Lord didn't set it up that way, man. All right. But get ready for it to, 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 to change up. All right, the Lord's gonna bring it back to that order. And you and you women that don't like it, too damn bad. That's right. All right, the Lord's gonna humble you. And you weak ass men that are afraid to stand up in your position, the Lord's gonna destroy you too. That's right. Especially you, you men of our nation. That's right. You so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American men. You afraid to stand up and, 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 and take a uh, uh, place in charge of your position of being real men, all right, and, and, and being bold, okay, being stern. If you ain't ready to take that place, the Lord's gonna destroy you. He gonna, he gonna deal with you according to the word, man. Right here. All right? Stop being weak, all right? Stop letting your woman lead you, man. You the leader, man. Take your rightful place, man. Gird up your lords like a man. Show yourself men. <laughs> Show yourself as a man. Not just believe it in your own head or even her. Yeah, Actually man. show yourself to be the head of that family. Yeah, being part of being a man and not allowing your woman to take your balls out every time you need it. Out of her purse. Right. Alright? Asking if they're asking if it's alright. Yeah. You don't ask your wife if anything's alright or your woman. You give her authority over you if you got to ask her permission to do anything. Now, I'm not saying to just ignore her out of the whole complete uh, decision making process, but no, you can't, you can't follow her. Right. You, you can't follow yeah. what she tells you. Exactly. You can take her input, 
And, and it was funny, what I do personally is I take the input and then I use that as, a, as, a, as an avenue to teach what should be going on if she doesn't have it right. If she doesn't agree with what I was going to decide to do, if she don't bring up good points against what I should do, then I'm going to teach her how to make those decisions. But chances are she ain't going to be able to make them. I'm still going to have to show her how to make them. But that's my position. As a man of the household, that's your position. Hey man, grow a damn backbone, you fucking men. Right. If, if you want to be, if, if, even if, and you, you, a lot of you don't deserve to be called men. All right. You need to cut it off like Bruce Jenner. Yeah, man. Right. Cut it on off. Just cut it off, man. A lot of you men, y'all controlled by your woman, man. She probably about to have you go and spend a two, three hundred dollar steak dinner, man. Because it's Valentine's Day. You're supposed to have, when, as soon as she get home, it's supposed to be a room full of balloons and, 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 and uh, chocolate candy and, and flowers and roses. You got shit fucked up, man. Grow a fucking backbone, man. She's supposed to be the one that's supposed to be contributing to you and your, and to, and, and to your uh, household, man. It ain't supposed to be what, what could you bring to the woman. Right. You know? A lot of you men, you go on dates and she's the one interrogating you and asking you what you gonna bring to her table. Come on, man. This society is weak, man. That's not how it's supposed to be. In the ancient world, it was nothing like that, man. These women knew that the man was the was the pride, but they they, they knew the men was the was the heir, man. All right. And they was the ones that would compete with each other to, to, to get with certain men. All right? Not the other way around. But this, this devil that's ruling, he the one that changed, he completely changed everything. Now you work, now you men are worshiping uh, 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 the, the woman, man. Get out of here. When she's supposed to be under you. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's just spirits rousing up. First Corinthians 11 and 8. First Corinthians 11 and 8. For the man is not of the woman, but yep. the woman of the man. Yeah, the man is not no, of the woman, demon. but the woman is of the man. It's not a two All right? Because why? Because we carry the seed. All right, we have that extra chromosome that we that we uh, release into the woman that determines the sex of that child. I got a question. Okay. What came first, the chicken or the egg? The answer is the chicken. Of course. All right. The answer is the chicken. The eggs don't lay like chicken. That's right. All right. <laughs> Plain and simple. Egg can't lay a chicken. Yeah, man. But it's a lot of pussy worship, as we see evidence, man. No, oh, man, y'all, the women is of the men, I not see. the other way around. She went over there and bothered right. him. Go ahead. <laughs> First Corinthians 11 and 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. Hey, so the, the, the Bible is saying women were created for men. And this is New Testament. All right. A lot of men, a lot of men make them uh, put some statements. Well, if it wasn't for my mother, I wouldn't be here. I can't live without my, you know, without my woman. You know? Man, that's, that's just a demon. That's a, that's a demon. Yeah, that's a demon. Don't nobody want that demon no more. Yeah, man. Yeah, she alone. Yeah, no, yeah, she's stupid. Don't nobody even want it. The Lord destroyed that. First Corinthians 11 and 9. Neither was the man created for the woman, yep. but the woman for the man. So she was created to be a servant unto men. All right, as a helpmate. All right, so your woman is supposed to be your servant, right? All right, you ain't supposed to be serving her. All right, you ain't supposed to be catering to her, her, her wants, her desires, man. Right. Cause she's a fleshly woman. All she cares about is her flesh. Right. You know? Her, her flesh. Her own That's flesh. It. 